Hello, welcome to What the Hate. This is the last ever question that I'm answering in this. I think this is the second notebook I'm ever doing. And I technically wrote in the last question a while ago, but I had to go back to one because I missed it. Uh, but anyways, welcome to the video. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you're doing good. Anyway, so when I go to my notebook of knowledge for the very last question in this second notebook, I see the question of what the hey is a TV? And this question was asked by Mr. 2007. What a way to end my second notebook. Also, thank you to Mr. 2007. You've been around for a while. Appreciate what you're doing. Appreciate your good work on your own channel. So let's talk about television, shall we? So if you get nothing else from this video, in terms of like a very basic description, television or like TV for short, like that's what most people call it, is a form of technology in which users can essentially see like digital visuals on a screen and they're usually accompanied by some sort of like audio. The types of things that you can usually see on a TV kind of range from stuff like movies, uh, shows, documentaries, um, advertisements, cartoons, really anything that's on there is kind of used for like entertainment purposes. And I have a little bit of a list here in terms of the types of TVs that you'll find, so I will read that real quick. I mean, there are plenty of options, so it kind of just depends on what you're looking for, but there's like plasma TVs, cathode ray tube TVs, LED, DLP, liquid crystal display TVs, organic light emitting TVs, um, direct view TVs, like there are a lot. I'll have like a little bit of a list like on the screen, but there's quite a few. Now it is time for a little bit of a history segment because I feel like that's a little bit important because TVs didn't just, you know, like happen. So here we go. Here's some history for you. So the first person to ever create like the product of a TV was a guy by the name of John Logie Baird, who created like the first ever working TV system on January 26th of 1926. And I think it's pronounced John Logie Baird because there's this video from this really cool channel called like Scottish uh, History Tours. Fantastic channel, fantastic video. Um, but he had this really thick Scottish accent. And he was like, John Logie Baird. And I was like, that is so cool. Uh, but anyways, John Logie Baird was the first ever guy to do this whole thing. And the way that he was able to do this is pretty crazy because he basically combined like a hot box, uh, scissors, needles, like light lenses, and some like sealing wax to create the TV. And like that, it's so complex to me. Like that's one of those things, like I still don't understand how Wi-Fi works. So how this dude was able just to like create a TV blows my mind, bruh. And the way that he was able to do this was essentially by like recording moving silhouette images and then using some mechanics to display on a screen and it worked. Another big milestone for like TVs in general was in like 1946 when they actually started to introduce like color broadcasts, um, which I think there's a clip, I'll try to include it, where there was like this show where like they added color gradually into it. So it was like, ooh, big reveal, now we see colors, let's go. And I think to me, it's honestly just so cool that we are able to get to that point. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love a good like black and white show or movie. I've watched some in the past. I really love that stuff. But just the fact that we're able to do that and like we've perfected it like to this day is fantastic. Before I actually kind of explain in a very, very basic way how TVs work, I kind of wanted to mention the parts of a TV because I feel like that's pretty important as well. Um, so here's that as well. Most TVs nowadays usually consist of stuff with like audio reception so you can hear the audio. Um, you've got like speaker systems that you can use. There's usually picture tubes, cables, um, antennas, input and output systems. You of course need like a remote control usually. And then of course you've got like senders and receivers and actual players. Though I feel like players usually relate to like movies and most people just watch that stuff on like Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever you got. Um, so it really depends on like what you're using the TV for. So now what I would like to do is actually explain how TVs work, like how we actually use them, um, because my brain does not really work with technology. So I was like, how do I explain this? And now I will try. So typically what happens in general, depending on the kind of media you're actually watching, is that there's some sort of camera or some sort of like technology that is recording the visuals and audio to whatever program, media, whatever you're watching, and like imports that source into electric signals that the TV like therefore produces and like projects onto the screen. 
big brain, not know how it really work, but you know, that's like a very, very basic way of understanding it. At least that's how I see it. And I feel like I have like my new understandings of these things. So I was like, that's an easy way to think of it, at least for me anyways. If any of you are better equipped with explaining how TVs work, feel free to do that in the comments because I tried. In terms of my general opinion, I feel like TVs are really cool. I don't typically use them that much aside from like playing like Resident Evil 4 really late at night when I can't go to sleep. Um, I just don't really watch TV that much. Like if I'm gonna watch something, it's either on my computer or my phone and it's not TV, it's like YouTube stuff. Um, so really I don't use television that much. Like if I'm gonna go see a movie, I'm gonna go see it at the theater. Sometimes I'll watch movies with like my friends and family on the TV. It's just not my kind of hobby, I guess, in general. I mean, in general, I don't feel like television's dying out anytime soon because like there's recent shows like Squid Game was really big. Um, I watched The Last of Us recently and that was really good. I guess it just depends on what kind of media is actually out there. Um, I mean, I don't really watch like basic television programming because anytime that I do, there are like ads. It's like Twitch. It's like as soon as you turn on the TV to basic programming, ad, 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 and then it's like, no, I'm good. I'll just like watch YouTube or something. In general, I feel like TVs are super cool and they're very impressive in terms of like the sizes that they're getting and it's like 4k quality and it's like 8k quality it's like all these different qualities um, so I'll be interested to see like where TVs get in the future because they're really cool but in general that's my answer to the question of course I'll have links to the information that I found in the description so if you want to do more research or you want to watch some videos on what I found feel free to do so uh, but that is it uh, so thank you very much for watching Bye.